Governor Hope Zodima of Imo State has urged secessionists to abandon the agitation and instead contribute to efforts at nation building. The governor gave the advice in Abuja while speaking with journalists on the relative return of peace in the state. The governor, who made a closed door meeting with President Buhari at the state house, said the strength of Nigeria is in our diversity. He said the support given by the federal government to stem insecurity in his state has paid off, leading to the arrest of 40 suspects, among whom were security personnel from Imo and other southeastern states. Governor Hope Uzodima alleged that banditry and other criminal activities were being sponsored by some politicians to divert the government's focus on making life better for Nigerians. He challenged security agencies to publish names of such Nigerians and urged Nigerians to join the fight against crime by providing credible intelligence to relevant authorities. Okay. Uh -huh. So some security personnel among 40 suspects Suspect arrested in South East and is calling all the agitators to join hands to build the nation. The ones that you guys have been building, what have what have what has come out of the of that? So it is no longer Eastern Security Network operatives, it is no longer IPOP members. Now you are saying the government should publish their names. The incident that happened in Inugu, what have you to say about that? Strength and diversity, diversity you said where then is the value of the governed. I ask you, I mean the middle poor masses. Now you are actually accusing politicians like you who benefited from a fraudulent means through a fraudulent Supreme Court judgment. And now you are accusingly talking about other sponsoring other political matters. What a shame to this biggest country in Nigeria, in Africa. It is better to split and be focused than being united why you people continue to feel that loss and trying to deceive and confuse people rather than con convince them what a shame once more okay you that is saying uh this you go and join them if you will not be arrested you are the person uh you are there pressing your phone with a mini uh, no mini comments. I don't know what this person is trying to tell us. Igbo don't have respect to their leaders. Okay, because of the political psychophants are ignorant looters. All of them must be judged. Can you correctly define the word leader or leaders? As they arrested 40 in Imo state, they should also go to the north and arrest bandits who are killing their who are killing people there also. It is now obvious you are an informant against your own people. Watch your hand will be regrettable uh this governor uh you shed most okay the blood you guys shed must consume you he must take new spiritual cleansing by a true man of god supreme court abuja court can only say that to please his masters but god will judge you and your masters for deviating from main issue cbn governor abi is it cbn governor supreme court governor uh, okay, this uh, governor will never let confuse the pre governor. Sorry, how can you do that? Uh, to, to, to pull pets, you have no right to advise them. How did you become governor? Wrong foundation. Assure those boys are not innocent. See, big belly youth. Well, this writer by Abu Abudla Belu is obviously a sponsored and sponsored one and can't be relied upon to make any meaningful contributory statements. Stop arresting innocent people. The bandits will come and go. Later, you will send army to arrest innocent citizens. The God of innocent people will speak for them. Be packing your things. You can never win second term, though you didn't win before. What kind of a thinking is this from this government? Uh, is this hope of a man in Imo state? He is a complete cause to the Igbos. Be rushing to Asurok every time to betray your people. One day you will relinquish power and regret all you are doing now. Ask Okorocha. But you didn't mention killer s men and bandits who are yet to be seen as terrorists while your own armless brothers are tagged terrorists. It is an open secret that our nepotic Government is Boko Haram and Boko Haram is Nigeria government. What is the essence of a supposed government 
negotiating with terrorists and bandits, slaughtering innocent Nigerians with impunity, and at the same time rewarding them handsomely with huge sums of money in dollars and naira. I personally urge Nigerians to defend themselves by any means possible because it is only a Christmas that remains upright or a tree that remains upright when it's about to be cut down. Period. Blessing. And on that wasted journey to Abuja, you such a foolish governor. You think Abuja will save a Supreme Court governor? Does this mean that it was not IPOP or ESN that were responsible for the attacks, but the former IGP fingered IPOP? Was it to divert attention from the real culprits who are now turning out to be security personnel themselves? Was the attacks sponsored by the state actors in order to pin it on IPOP so that the state can be emboldened to deal ruthlessly, ruthlessly with IPOP? Let the revelations keep coming. Of course, we all know that it is not IPOP. They not, it is glaring to everybody. At least a, a typical incident or situation that happened in Enugu yesterday from Aousa Kota or the Fulani Kotas in that place, Hopeless Hope learned how to lead from Benry Governor. Hope, are you sure na Uzo Digidema? There is time for everything. Biafra will come because it is ordained. He is afraid of what is ahead of him. No matter how strong man is, he can't escape the trap of God Almighty. You are ranting because you are still occupying another man's seat. We will surely know your father by his show your faith, uh, know your faith by his grace when you leave that seat. Meanwhile, don't punish those who told you the truth in the name of criminals. Please, my friend, who is talking? Popu Zodima is a slave. Look, a slave to S men, bandits, Boko Haram, all are not terrorists. Yes, your innocent brothers, you tag them. Terrorists, okay. The law of karma will surely arrest you all. Very easy arrest. Mm. Forget nation building, emo face. Let's learn from the design. The move to nation building. And man, oh, hopeless man. When politicians say their troubles are created by fellow politicians, I don't know if they expect the rest of us to believe them and take it upon ourselves to do the arresting and persecution. Pay workers and Pensioners, you contributed to the hardship that allow insecurity in the southeast. I don't even know why the presidency don't even have the boldness to ask you why you are only workers and pensioners. <clears throat> they will ask him, ask him for what? <clears throat> you think that they are for the people? No, not at all.